Hi, so really the purpose of this uh, video tutorial is to show you how to set up the Apple TV with either a television or an overhead projector and use it in the classroom or for academic teaching purposes. It's a great tool to use because you can be wireless and you can uh, mirror everything on your iPad or on your iPhone. Whoever's attending, watch along and interact with you. So let's show you how it's done. First of all, we got an Apple TV here. This is the 720 version and we're hooked up to a television here you can see we're up on, uh, on, on on the Apple TV as you go in and you double press your power button here and you scroll down push the little video button and then you hit the Apple TV button and you'll see it mirroring here in just a minute okay so now up on the screen you're gonna see everything that I'm doing on my iPad so I'm going to pull up our clinically relevant apps. We'll start with the clinical orthopedic exam. So now I can pick a test. It's got a little bit of a lag. Uh, let's say I go in, click on the knee, and I come down and click on instability. And I can scroll down to my Lockman's test. And then here are the instructions as they were laid out by the author I can click on the test properties when go through those I can click on one of the links and it's going to open up a PubMed abstract link where I can read the abstract I can order the article if I need to I can email the link but this is great because everyone can see what you're working on overhead and then if I want to watch the video, I can just click on the video and it will start playing on either the television or the overhead projector, whatever you have the Apple TV hooked into. The patient is supine and the involved limb is on the side of the examiner. The knee joint is placed into 20 to 30 degrees of knee flexion. One hand of the examiner is placed on the femur for stabilization while the other hand is applied to the posterior medial aspect of the proximal tibia in an attempt to translate it anteriorly. So this is great because the audience can watch the video up on the screen, you can discuss the instructions where they can see it, you can discuss the test properties, you can even email links to any uh, members in the audience. You can search for different tests. Let's look at another one real quick. Let's go to the shoulder. We'll look at some labral tests here or for impingement. Same thing, we can click on the video and sometimes there's a little bit of a lag but It'll come right up. I can go get the uh... patient is supine with shoulder in 90 degrees of abduction and neutral rotation and elbow flex in 90 degrees. The glenohumeral joint is compressed and the humerus is rotated in an attempt to trap the labrum within the joint. The presence of an uncomfortable plunk may indicate a labral tear. And here I am on my phone now. And here we can search for tests. You gotta love the autocorrect. Sensitivity, specificities, likelihood ratios. If we want to do a quick little legend, see what those mean, we can pull those up. If we want a quick little review on confidence intervals, what is sensitivity, specificity, what does that information mean to us? We can look at the glossary and then we can go right back to the home page again. Pick a body region and, and work from there. Okay, so here we have our apps and I'm going to show you our manual therapy apps and these especially lend themselves to the classroom and again this is uh, coming from my phone so I'll pull up my clinically relevant apps and I'll open up let's say our upper extremity and there you see you have the shoulder the elbow the wrist and mm -hmm. hand and here's my phone and there it is projected on the overhead TV you can scroll through so again what you're seeing is what's projected up on the screen through the Apple TV let's look at radio deviation and we can come down and then the, the nice thing about these is the videos you can pull the videos up 
Show them right on the overhead and everybody can watch them. Again, you can pull up evidence summaries. Uh, quite a few wrist and hand techniques, quite a few elbow techniques, and quite a few shoulder techniques. We can pull up the spine. Same thing, let's say we pull up a they pull up a mid thoracic manipulation and sitting. And we watch the video. Okay, so next I'm going to demonstrate uh, using just an overhead projector that we that we use here in our house. And uh, let's go ahead and mirror. So again, you can imagine using something similar to this. We'll go ahead and turn off the lights. Okay, and then with the mirroring, so we'll go up and we'll pull up the clinically relevant apps. And again. You can walk around wirelessly holding your iPad or your iPhone and, and project everything wirelessly up overhead. So it's a nice, nice little tool. So let's go to body regions and let's go to the foot and ankle. Let's look at an instability test. Taylor tilt test. Here's the test properties. and we can stream a video while you discuss or you can make it full screen and again we're just projecting up on the wall right now and again if you're streaming you're not going to get any audio you're just going to get written instructions to keep the size down if let's say let's look at one of our shoulder tests and let's go with our compression rotation again I'm doing all this wirelessly from my iPad patient is supine with shoulder in 90 degrees of abduction and neutral rotation and elbow flex in 90 degrees the glenohumeral joint is compressed and the humerus is rotated in an attempt to trap the labrum within the joint the presence of an uncomfortable plunk may indicate a labral tear. The arm can be abducted with an anterior directed force or adducted with a posterior directed force. Patient is examined in the supine position. The leg is positioned with the hip abducted to 60 degrees, flexed and rotated externally by about 40 degrees, the knee bent to 90 degrees, and the lateral border of the foot resting on the examination table. In this position, the femur is rotated externally, whereas the tibia is rotated internally, and then the knee is in a varus position due to the effects of gravity. The test is considered positive if, one, any pain that may be present due to the pressure of the finger increases during the maneuver, or two, a sharp pain is... So let's look at our manual therapy apps again. Let's pull up the uh, thoracic spine. So we watched it on the TV. Let's look at it on the overhead projector now. Again, so we'll pull up our techniques and let's go with a cervical thoracic junction thrust and sitting. We can look at the technique descriptions and we can watch a video. Okay, so we can look at those on the iPad. We can also look at these on the iPhone. Okay, so now I'm mirroring, and again, from my small handheld device, I can show with the same amount of effectiveness any apps that are on my phone. So let's go ahead and click on the manual therapy app. Let's click on the techniques for the sh wrist and hand, 
and let's look at a radial deviation You can see that overhead. Alright, let's look at some uh, hip techniques. We can look at the long axis distraction. Position the patient in supine and stand at the feet of the patient. Grasp the patient's ankle with both hands just above the malleoli. And position your feet in a walk stance. Position the hip in slight flexion, abduction, and external rotation. Apply a distraction force to the hip by shifting your weight to your back foot and pulling with both arms. The technique may be performed as a graded mobilization into resistance or as a high velocity thrust at end range. You may progress the technique by positioning the hip in further abduction and internal rotation prior to performing the mobilization or thrust manipulation. You may also use a belt in a figure eight pattern to aid in gripping force and increase patient comfort. Additionally, you may have another person provide proximal stabilization through the pelvis with downward pressure on the patient's bilateral anterior superior iliac spines. Ensure the hip is not brought into adduction as this may risk injury to the acetabulum. So there you have it. Overhead projector, television screen, you can use your iPhone, your iPad, and you don't need any cables. All you need is an Apple TV. Clinically relevant apps are great, but uh, you know there's some other apps on here. For example, if you want to look at some anatomy, um, there's a couple good apps here, Pocket Body and Visible Body. They're both great anatomy apps. As you're doing a clinical exam for core and you wanted to refresh yourself on the anatomy, you could certainly pull up one of these apps and discuss some of the muscle insertions potentially that you're testing or some of the other structures that you're testing. So again, this is just a great, great device and a great tool to use in the classroom. The iPad and the iPhone in conjunction with the Apple TV.